So I'll give you an example. An, a negative, a limiting belief would be something like, um, I always fail. I always fail. Or kind of, if it goes wrong, I'll have failed. If it goes wrong, I'll have failed. And this word of failure is big. It looms over you, stops you ever taking action. But a more limitless belief would be, if I fail, I never fail to learn. So it's not mm -hmm. saying you're not going to fail, because of course, we're all going to succeed. We're all going to fail. But instead of going, oh, if it goes wrong, I'll have failed, full stop. You might say, you know, I, I, I would never fail to learn. And just those small reframes. Mm -hmm can really help people in the moments when it feels tough. Um, and then the last thing is all about action and reward, action and reward. So you've got to understand what small actions look like. So let's say I'm scared of presenting. I think I'm horrendous at presenting and I'm scared of presenting. The first thing that I'm going to do is not put myself up for a TED talk. That is so scary in action that I will never ever take it. But a small action could be I'm going to present for five minutes on my team meeting about my learnings from a project that I've just worked on. And then mm. the point is you, you accumulate all the small actions and it builds your confidence over time, which goes back to your point about this stuff does take time. And then the most important thing is that you reward yourself along the way because it feels tough. If you don't like, you know, mm. if you don't like asking a question and saying, I don't know the answer to that, that's going to feel really hard for you. So you've got to find a way to reward yourself with, I don't know, a walk, a podcast, listen to your podcast, have a bit of a break, eat some chocolate, whatever the thing chocolate. is. That gives chocolate, you works. chocolate works. <laughs> chocolate. The simple pleasures, it doesn't have to be excessive, but find a way to sort of recognize the progress that you're making. And then over time, you can cage the gremlin. Really difficult to kill it. Like you're never going to love doing this thing that you find mm. uncomfortable, but you can stop it holding you back.